Hello, welcome to my channel. Another booby file reads Playboy for the articles. This is the last video for the month of August. The last trashy book for 2023. Garbagus 2, The Electric Boogaloo. This will not be a complete week of my readings because I'm going on a road trip this weekend and will not be able to make a video. So this will be a solo book review dedicated entirely to my final read for August. Thanks to Screamin' Creamin' Ollie for creating this event. And thanks to all my gang of trashy book readers, the gag members, the Garbagust Alliance gang. So what trashy book did I read as my final read for this month? That was Satan's Burnouts Must Die with an explanation point by David Sodrin. He is a Scottish horror author. I have read one other book by him this year, The Har, H-A-A-R, in which was set on the coast of Scotland in a very small town. And it features a very nice old lady as the main character who is being driven out of her home by a corporation until she befriends a sea monster. And I really liked the horror. So I picked up Satan's Burnouts, Must Die, for Garbagus. Now this book is set in the United States in 1972, in um, the American desert, in a very, very small town. I think it's called Denville. And it features an old man living alone after his, his wife has died. He is expecting his granddaughter to come visit him with a boyfriend. And when he gets into town, he notices there are a lot of motorcyclists with leather vests that read Satan's Burnouts. And they are in a diner. Now, he, he knows these guys are not good. And he is a, a, a war veteran, presumably World War II or Korea. And he's a decorated war veteran. So he goes into his glove compartment and pulls out a pistol. He kept the pistol in his glove compartment because his wife alive, was alive. He says, you always need to be armed just in case. So he walks into this um, diner. There is the owner, who is a, a middle-aged lady, and a 17-year-old girl as her, her, her waitress. And Satan's burnouts are giving these ladies a very hard time. The Satanists, or the bikers, say they like the young 17-year-old girl, and one of them has sexual assault in mind. And here is Sam, the old man, just sort of watching it happen. And he lets it proceed. He lets them strip off her clothes, strip off her panties, and getting this close to actual rape. Before he pulls out his pistols and says, that's enough. And there's a confrontation. The pistol gets fired. A Satanist gets shot in the hand. Now I keep calling them Satanists instead of bikers. I think that's okay because they do worship Satan. So the biker Satanists leave the diner and the leader of the, the biker gang disarms the old man. And he says, what's your name, old fella? Now Sam does not give him his name, but he puts down the gun and leaves. And Sam thinks, well, these, these bikers are leaving town. I'm good. Now, the middle-aged lady, the young girl, are really not that happy with Sam. They say, 
why did you let it go on so long? They said, this close to actual rape. Why did he not stop the rape sooner? And there was a comment from the, the biker leader says, old man, did you enjoy the show? Sort of implementing that, yeah, maybe he was titillated with the, the idea of that sexual assault. And the, 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 the middle-aged lady and the young girl basically tell Sam, get out of our diner. So Sam goes home. He thinks the bikers are gone. He, go, he goes to his shelf of um, medals that he won when he was a veteran or serving in the army. He takes them in his hand. He crushes them and throws them in the trash can because he's ashamed that he let it go on that long. But the bikers have not left town. They are not going to be satisfied until they do something with the women in the diner. Now, I won't say what that is, other than it's a little graphic. And Sam learns about that once his um, daughter gets into town with her, her dweeby boyfriend. And Sam, he's out for revenge. He's becoming a, he wants to be a vigilante that protects these women, that, that will defend their, their ruined honor. And of course, the granddaughter and the boyfriend says, yeah, just, just call the police. Just don't get involved. But he has to get involved because his honor is at stake. And then things go terribly wrong. And I won't say exactly how it goes terribly wrong, but I was a little bit surprised. The story takes a twist in a direction that I was not expecting. And when a book does something like that, I like it a lot. And it sort of fits the story because um, things should not be as planned. So, as again, this is a very, trashy book. It's short. It's about 150 pages, maybe 180, something like that. And very entertaining. A very quick read and an excellent finish to Garbogist. Because I'm going to have to read more books by David Sokren. I've read two by him now, and both of those were real winners. So he's on the list to read more books by. And I think you should pick up his books too, because two out of two, that's really good. So what can I do with my Garbogist bingo card? Well, it had a biker gang. So I'm gonna check a book about gangs. And I'm gonna pick a vigilante book because Sam, has a vigilante mission that he wants to accomplish. But that is the end. As you can see, my Garbogist bingo card is not filled out. I don't even know. Oh, do I have a bingo? I don't even have a bingo on it. I don't care. Garbogist was a magnificent reading event. And again, thanks to Screamin' Criminali, and all of the trashy co-hosts who made this a memorable, a memorable event for 2023. Thank you for watching and keep on reading trashy books throughout the year.